YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back in Total War Rome 2 here with some uh, online multiplayer. Going to be pretty excited. Uh, this match is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be taking an insane Parthi army, which is just all cav and skirmishers and skirmisher cav. Best of both worlds, right? And elephants. Doesn't get much crazier than that. Uh, I got a Macedonian teammate who's brought an army that made me a little bit nauseous, and if he's watching the video, please don't take any offense to it. Um, you probably just didn't know any better or something like that, so I don't ever, whenever I say these things about people's armies in this game, don't take it personally, because I don't, I don't mean it personally. We deployed up here on this big hill, and my teammate put down all these caltrops and stakes, but there's no way the enemy's just going to march right through that stuff. Uh, it might work against the AI, but it won't work online. I've got four of these uh, Sarmatian horse archers. I've got two, or four Median Cav, two on each flank right now. I've got four Parthian Foot Archers. I've got three Eastern Javelin Men, here they are. They have very high damage Javelins, but otherwise not a very impressive Javelin unit. Uh, my General is a Royal Cataphract, and then I've got two Eastern Cataphracts as well. Here's one of the Eastern Cataphracts. So three Cataphract unit, four Median Cav, um, and then I've got this Indian War Elephant over here too. Now my teammate has brought like six or seven of these Macedonian um, foot companions. Now, these are a tough units if someone's foolish enough to attack them straight on, but no one's ever going to do that. So that's the downfall. And he has like seven or eight of these archers and two citizen caps, so his army is very inflexible. The, the pikes are only good from the front. Macedon's not a very good faction to begin with, and we're facing off versus Carthage and Suebi, both of which are better factions, but let's see what armies they've picked. Uh, the Carthaginian has four of these uh, Carthaginian cavalry, two Libyan hoplites on his flank out here supporting him, so good choice. Three Balearic slingers. His main line's a little different. He's got uh, five of these squishier swords. I think he's got uh, a mix of Gallic and Iberians here. So I think it's four Gallics and one Iberian. Then he's got one noble fighter and four Libyan infantry and a noble horse bodyguard, which is an interesting choice for the bodyguard, um, especially against Parthia. Anyway, for the, the Swaby army is probably the most well-chosen one on the field. It's a very good Swaby army. So four Germanic Slingers. These guys can tank out an insane amount of damage because of their huge missile block chance shields. These wooden or Germanic wooden shield or wood shield, whatever it is, they get great block chance. Four Swordmasters in the second line. Four Club Levy right behind them. And then I think it's two Wodenaz and two Spear Levy, or three Wodenaz and two Spear Levy. Yeah, three, or three Woden has one Spear Levy, and then four Germanic Scout Riders. Scout Riders are actually pretty good at dealing with Horse Archers, because they are fast. Uh, very fast. These are very light cav, and they can catch a Horse Archer, especially if the Horse Archer is tired. So, the Swaby army is going to be very difficult to deal with, for me, or for the Mac Macedonian. Because my Skirmishers would struggle badly, versus these Germanic Slingers, and my Horse Archers are in an extreme danger from the Germanic Scouts. Which means that I really need to just focus my attention on killing Carthage and hope the Macedonian can hold off Swaby for as long as possible. So I've got my archers and javelins up on this hill just as bait. My horse archers are going to go to the flank and try and draw his cavalry into an engagement. To come to an engagement right now would be absolute foolishness for the Carthaginian and he chooses foolishness. Just watch what happens here on one solid volley from all these guys. I mean, just like watch over here, for instance, this unit is going to get hammered from the flank into the unshielded side. I took 14 men out in that unit in one volley, um, and then they lost, uh, let's see, five men there. So, yeah, killed quite a few Carthaginian cavalry just on the very first volley. And uh, these archers are, are very dangerous um, to the Carthaginian cav. That's not an engagement they want. They're going uphill with medium cav into light missile cav. So, gotta be careful. I'm gonna bring Medeans and Cataphracts over here to support, and basically I'm just gonna keep trying to draw Carthage into an early engagement that they don't want to be in. Carthage is pushing right here. Their Balearic Slingers are gonna be firing uphill, which is definitely gonna hurt them, so they probably won't fare very, very well versus four Parthian foot. Um, and then right here, some of their guys do stray in range, so I start hitting their Balearic Slinger, and um, I start to bring my Horse Archers in for a... A quick volley thinking that'll be smart and I forget there's Iberian swords on this flank and Iberian swords are great at this. They take their Soliferum javelins and they can hurl them at long range and cause a lot of damage especially to light horse units. So I just lost a whole bunch of ammo there because I lost men early in the game. And using horse archers right means not bungling them in early game like I just did there. These uh, Libyan hoplites are charging me. I probably should have just charged them then. I was just worried that I wouldn't hit a full charge speed. But my plan is to charge these guys, knock them down, 
come on through. I'm going to take a cab engagement over here versus the Medeans. I get good charges against all the Carthaginian cab. I think Carthaginian cab, though, is actually a little better than Medean cab. I could be wrong, but it seems like stat-wise that's what I was seeing. He has Libyan hoplites coming in. These guys are excellent anti-cavalry tools here. Just excellent. So this is bad for my Median cab. I've got to get over here with my cataphracts and make this right. Look at this one charge, killing almost half of the Libyan hoplite. When they're not braced, they're not good against cavalry, especially super heavy shot cav. And I'm going to bring in two trample charges at the same time, one against a Carthaginian cav and one against the uh, late Libyan hoplites that are out here. And I'm going to do it with a royal cataphract here, and I'm going to smash into the side of all this cavalry, and then smash into their back here too. And that's going to cause an instant waiver of one of the Carthaginian Kev, and then it's also going to cause the Hoplites to waver due to losing decisively because of the charge. So this actually wraps up the Kev fight over here for me rather brilliantly. But um, let's watch my Horse Archers and see if I'm going to be smart with them. You can see me thinking about charging these guys with them. And again, using ammo here, I mean, this is all very questionable because I know that the Swaby are going to be tough. And I really need to be smart with these horse archers if I want to win this battle. Remember, I basically am going to have to kill both enemy armies. Because the foot companions aren't going to get any kills. The Swaby are not going to attack straight into foot companions. So just keep that in mind as I play this because it'll be a good measure of whether or not I'm succeeding. These are Iberian swords too. I was thinking they were Gallic swords. So situational awareness is very important. Because these guys have long range javelins and quite a few of them. Um, so these Iberian swords are actually a pretty big threat to my horse archers here. Sure enough, I'm going to take some more javelins from the Iberian Swords. These guys haven't gotten a lot of kills, but uh, they're killing horse archers, and I need their ammo for late game, so I'm going to charge them with my cataphracts. My general has already gotten 80 kills, and let's see, this eastern cataphract has 108 kills already. My Median Cav did okay through here. A few of them took, you know, pretty heavy losses to the Carthaginian Cav. I do believe the Carthaginian Cav is a superior medium melee cav. Maybe better armor on the Medeans, but I think the attack um, and other stuff goes to the Carthaginian Cav. My Parthian foot archers were on fire at will in skirmish, which is good, but it's also bad because I'm not noticing, and my guys have already been taking pot shots into these uh, Gallic warriors, and that's a waste of ammo. Um, I really ought to be saving ammo for units like this mercenary noble fighter. And my my real strategy, though, is to obviously just fall back here with all my skirmishers and insert elephants, cataphracts, and a flanking cab charge. And I'm going to try and overwhelm the Carthaginian army as quickly as possible. Now, one thing that I forget, I'm using the skirmish mode here, so keep this in mind because you're going to see me make a mistake here. The skirmish mode on archers does not account for the javelin range of the inf infantry that's charging them, so although skirmish mode will work for the most part, it does screw up quite a lot. Um, it's going to get you hit with precursor javelins, and it's, it's something to be aware of. You can see my cavalry now moving around to the back lines. The Carthaginian general takes a charge from my Median cav. Um, he'll defeat them, but I just wanted to pin him down for the time being until I can kill him later. And my Median cav is not wildly important to me, though, again, I should be smart with my units and not waste units, because we want to make it to the late game intact and in good shape. So the Carthaginian just keeps pushing forward, and his guys are taking... Very heavy fire from my Parthian foot archers, uh, but again, watch the mistake here. Gallic warriors are going to hurl javelins and kill a ton of my archers. Just terrible mistakes. My eastern javelin men, though, are going to be here. My cataphracts are going to come through and go ahead and tie down these mercenary Gallic warriors, but I'm going to eat javelins from these Libyan infantry, too. So this is all extremely risky. Now, fortunately, the Libyans did not <coughs> did not get javelins. I follow up with the Median cab into the back of these squishy swords. And uh, this is going to go very well for me here. The elephants, I'm going to go ahead and bring them in. This Libyan infantry looks like it has an attack order somewhere else, so my elephants should be able to insert themselves safely and uh, and basically start uh, making their presence felt. Here comes more cataphracts. i got to get rid of these swordsmen quickly before they kill many of my men. There's another Libyan infantry here. That Libyan infantry is what I want to hit with my elephants. I got this one pretty good. Uh, I had Fire at Will on for a moment, though it caused a little bit of hit point damage to my own elephants. Be very careful with Fire at Will from archers and javelins on your own side. Those Libyans actually got a decent bracing bonus there against my elephants, and I didn't get a particularly large number of kills on them there. Only about 20. I'm going to go ahead and push forward to this blob. Now again, I got antsy. Use my horse archers to pin down Valeric Slingers. Valeric Slingers, unless I'm getting a good wide open charge, Valeric Slingers are actually going to do pretty well in, in a prolonged melee. Plus there was Noble Fighters over here. My elephants are going to rock the world of, of these guys pretty badly, um, which is good. I'm going to get a lot of kills, but my elephants are a little bit spread out. I'm not going to kill this mercenary noble fighter instantly, unfortunately, and my horse archers take a lot of losses, losing a lot of ammo, 
and I threw away two Median Cavs trying to kill the enemy Noble Horse General, and it's just not the best trade for me. The Noble Horse General is in bad shape, though. Now I'm just cycling Cataphracts back and forth with Elephants, just ping-ponging back and forth, while the Swaby player is up here just having a field day, hosing, absolutely hosing the Foot Companions with Precursor Javelins and uh, Germanic Slinger Fire. And there is nothing, nothing that the uh, Macedonian can do about this. All their archer units, like all five or six of them, just can't stand up to those Germanic Slingers. Um, those guys have great shields, and it's just not going to do much. The Macedonian's firing uphill, too, so... He should have used his pikes to go ahead and push the uh, Swaby player back off to the back side of this hill, where at least his archers would have been firing downhill. Um, probably would have been helpful. Plus, there's caltrops and stakes over here to help keep cavalry off his flanks. Uh, but the Macedonian player is getting hit by club levy over here against a citizen cav, and there's also spear levy and another club levy. So they're going to start working on his flank. These woden -ass spears are fast, and they're killing Macedonian archers by by the gobs. The shield bearer is going to come over to help try and break them. While meanwhile, I do a pretty sloppy job of mopping up the fight with the Carthaginians. I do good at first, but now I'm taking fire on my elephants. My cavalry's getting bogged down. I'm taking losses that I don't need to take. Overall, it's been good. I've gotten a ton of kills. I'm even over here targeting the Swavy General at this point, and the Swordmasters have a better shield than I remember. I sacrifice some Eastern Javelin men into him also, just to kind of hold them here while I fire. My All my Parthian foot and my Eastern Javelins are hurling away, and I figured surely this will easily kill the uh, Swordmaster General. But it does a lot less damage than I'd hoped. We'll see whether or not it kills him. Though I mean, I am causing some pretty significant damage uh, with all my Missile Storm over here. So, I mean, lots of Swordmasters going down, which is good. I need to hit uh, the Swaby as hard as I can. Uh, the Noble Cab General is finally going to route here, but we still got Mercenary Noble Fighters and Balearic Slingers. So I'm going to use my uh, Royal Cataphract General to come over here and, and make this situation right. These Balearic Slingers are not going to like being open field charged. They do get one last shot at my Cataphracts, but they're going to get bowled over by the Heavy Cavs, so they are dead. And I'm going to move on down here and get these other two so that they will stop firing my elephants. I haven't lost any elephants, but I have suffered a lot of hit point damage. I was thinking about coming over here because I want to get those Woden as spears. So I'm going to plow through this club levy. It did not have an attack order from what I was seeing, so I'm going to destroy it real quick with the elephants. And then I should have just beelined it right... Well, I say I should have. I really shouldn't. I've got to stay away from this German line that can uh, reinforce. Right here, the Woden as spears peel off and prove why you got to be very careful with the elephants. They're going to get a Javelin Volley here. They're too close. I should have just charged them, um, because then they wouldn't have gotten the Javelin Volley. But, I mean, they have Cavalry Counter Tactics. They're a dangerous unit to get tied up in. Um, so, even though you can kill them on the charge, you don't want to get bogged down. And I start to lose Elephants because of this, so... 276 kills is pretty respectable, but uh, not, not as great as it could be. 290 kills on those Cataphracts, 281 on my General. I lost one Eastern Cataphract, and I have lost my Median Cav at this point, too. And then I've used up all my ammo. So at this point, it's not looking so good. I'm going to kill as many German or Swaby as I can. I almost said Germanians from Rome 1. I'm going to kill as many Swaby as I can. I'm going to turn around actually and charge this club levy. Hopefully it doesn't get a jab volley. It did not. So my uh, Cataphract Generals kind of get stuck here in between the Swordmaster and the club levy. Fortunately for me, neither one of these units is particularly good at um, killing cavalry, so I'm going to get out of here. I am going to take some losses. The club levy routes, fortunately for me, and it's going to help me extricate. Still doing cycle charges here on the Mercenary Noble Fighters. Not getting the best charges, though, because my Cataphracts are exhausted. Uh, but we still got a decent charge. Killed some of the Noble Fighters. I'm going to have to pull out. Going to keep my Elephants in reserve. The, the Macedonian finally did push the Swaby, uh, probably out of arrows with his archers at this point, and he's worried about getting outflanked, and for good reason. Now these Swordmasters over here, though, have gotten caught on the front of a Foot Companion, and they're not going to do so well here. But the Swaby player is going to pull them off like he should, but they took a few losses there. This Foot Companion got some kills. My general just uh, finished off another Balearic Slinger that came back from routing, and my elephants are going to finish off this Noble Fighter here. Uh, I've lost uh, eight or four elephants at this point, but I do have a lot of kills, like a whole lot of kills, 400. <laughs> but again, I just lost another elephant there, so I'm down to only three elephants, and my general's unit is down to only 21 men. 346 kills, though, very nice. Uh, my foot archers did a decent job. Uh, the Swaby general is almost dead, and I'm going to try and pick him off here, but he turns around to face my horse archers, which was smart, so that way he gets his shield, uh, shield values. 
and my horse archers are very beat up. There's very few of them, and uh, I have to be very careful because of this. Germanic slingers will kill my horse archers almost instantly, so I just have to run. Can't take that. So the Swaby General survives a frustratingly long time, and uh, I really don't see how we can beat the Swaby at this point. So my, my advice to any new player, a player who's looking to improve themselves at Total War Rome 2, never bring pikes to the battle. Just don't. There's almost no time when it's a good idea unless it's a siege battle. And on top of that, expensive pikes are just as crappy as cheap pikes. And the reason for that is because all pikes maneuver equally poorly and are outflanked equally easy. None of them do a good job killing from the front. They're really just a defensive unit. You have to hope that your opponent just absolutely slams themselves against your pikes like this. That's the only way you're going to get any kills. Um, you will not get kills otherwise. So really the Macedonians get lucky here because the Swabies feel unhappy anyway. They can just take these cavalry around and rip these guys up from behind with javelins. That's the only reason why the Swabies even cooperating here and helping him get any kills. Now, my army on the other hand is just trying to get a few last kills by getting over here, but these stakes and caltrops are now blocking my way of getting into the Swabies back lines, which is frustrating. There's a few cavalry here. I don't know whose cavalry those are, but they got killed by the caltrops. Could have been friendly cav, because I think caltrops kill both, both friendly and uh, non-friendlies. Yeah, these Germanic, uh, Germanic scout riders are going to kill the Macedonian archers, and they're going to absolutely light up these foot companions. Uh, from behind and even look even attacked like uh, you know, like attacking straight in the front of these foot companions they still don't get that many kills um, they're just not good units they're too inflexible at this point the uh, the cavalry advantage that the uh, Swaby have and the skirmish advantage his his Germanic slingers still have ammo these guys are gonna pick us apart the Wodenaz spears are extremely dangerous to my men right now extremely dangerous uh, they're fast, they can potentially catch my skirmishers, they can help destroy my elephants, they're good infantry, they're just good. Uh, other than being very light, but I mean, being light actually helps. Now look here, I accidentally gave a charge order on the slinger, I think. No, 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 I got a charge order on the enemy general. Why? Why did my charge fail? Like, I hit the end of the, the edge of the unit and then it blocks the one from the other. I was so hoping to kill the swaby general here, and I don't think that it would have made a difference because there's still... Swordmaster's here, and I believe they encourage other units, as do the um, the Wodenaz Spears, so probably wouldn't have caused a chain route, but it still would have been nice to kill the Swaby General. My Horse Archer's route due to army losses over here, my Elephant's route due to army losses, I don't even get to use them again, and then my Cataphracts, I'm just going to have to YOLO here. So I'm just going to go full YOLO, and I'm like, alright, finally a downhill charge, the enemy general is definitely going to die here, and uh, let's watch. Nope! My cavalry just bumps the slingers and the charge completely fails once again, so the Swaby General survives two life-threatening situations for my cataphracts, and there I finally kill a few of the Swordmasters, but it's not going to kill the Swaby General. The Swaby General actually lives to the end of the battle, infuriatingly enough. We're going to lose this one. The Macedonian army was just not suited to take on the Swaby here. Precursor Javelins, Javelin Horsemen, they just had all the tools. Germanic slingers, excellent infantry. The Swaby were definitely one of the best picked armies on the map here. I did not use my army to its full potential. I got a little too impatient. Should have been more meticulous in picking apart Carthage. Uh, waiting and getting those small engagements and mopping up the small engagements as Parthia is the way to go. Don't, don't worry about large scale engagements. Take the little ones where you can easily dominate. You'll see that that kind of happened in a few places, and that's part of the reason why I got so many kills on these units. But you can see that I didn't get a lot of kills outside of that. Totally mismanaged my horse archers. I got them involved in the melee with the Balearic Slingers. There was no reason to be hurrying into the melee with the Balearic Slingers. Rather than using my Median Cav on the noble horse uh, Carthaginian General, I should have used a Cataphract and just smashed it. And then my Median Cav could have mopped up the Balearics while my Cataphracts and Elephants cycle charged the infantry to death would have been a much more effective strategy and it would have left me with a lot more cav, which in the end would have potentially given the Swaby a lot more fits than what I ended up doing. Now, I did get a ton of kills. It's great. Pretty much killed the whole Carthaginian army and a few of the Swaby too. So I, I did get a lot of kills considering how many men I brought, but it was not a good enough performance to win. But you can see the difficulty in trying to get kills with pikes. It is just very difficult to do. Swaby player did a great job. Look at this Woden S spear here. Great kills on them. Great kills on the scout riders over here. Just nice work. Germanic slingers. Again, the guys are great anti-skirmish weapons, and they can kill pikes, and they can kill lightly armored archers and other stuff like that too. They're not going to be very good against units that have high armor or really good shields. 
but they can tank out missile fire and they're quite good at it. There's the Carthaginian army, they just they got messed up pretty bad. The only unit that got any considerable number of kills was this noble fighter. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, yep, that's just about it. I'll be back with more Total War Rome 2 soon. Hope you enjoyed.